In the mission, The Men and Me, Lessons from a Former Delta Force Commander, Pete Blaber presents a series of lessons learned during his military career, particularly while serving in the United States Army's Elite Delta Force Unit. His experiences span numerous combat zones and operations, and through them, he distills the wisdom he gained into a series of guiding principles applicable not only to military operations, but also to everyday life and leadership challenges. Blaber begins by introducing readers to the importance of the three M's, the mission, the men, and me, which form the central framework for his decision-making process. The priority is always to focus first on the mission and its objectives, then on the welfare of the men carrying it out, and finally on one's self and personal concerns. This hierarchy is key to understanding the emphasis on leadership and the selflessness required in extreme situations encountered by special forces. Throughout the book, Blaber recounts specific operations and episodes from his time in places like Afghanistan, Bosnia, and Iraq, delving into the complex nature of asymmetrical warfare and the unpredictability of combat. He stresses the need for adaptability, creative thinking, and the willingness to improvise when faced with unexpected challenges. A recurring theme in these anecdotes is the necessity of understanding the environment and the context one operates within which he encapsulates in the principle, when in doubt, develop the situation. One of the crucial ideas that Blaber emphasizes is the concept of guiding principles. These are not strict rules, but flexible concepts that can help navigate the chaos of real-world scenarios. One of his guiding principles is, it's not reality unless it's shared, which highlights the significance of clear communication and shared understanding in teamwork and leadership. Blaber insists that efficient collaboration and transparent information flow can prevent grave mistakes and enhance the chances of mission success. Always listen to the guy on the ground is another principle Blaber champions. He illustrates through examples how first-hand experience and local knowledge are invaluable. The perspective that comes from those directly engaged in an operation can offer critical insights that are often missed at higher command levels. This principle underlines his advocacy for decentralized decision-making and fostering a culture where subordinates are empowered to think and act independently as situations evolve. Blaber also discusses the importance of preparing for various scenarios while avoiding preconceived notions that can lead to inflexibility. His principle, Don't Get Treed by a Chihuahua, illustrates the danger of overreacting to minor threats and losing sight of the larger picture. He stresses the value of staying calm and maintaining perspective, which allows for effective prioritization and resource allocation amidst the fog of war. Furthermore, Blaber introduces the concept of the Big Four, which encapsulates four basic needs that must be secured to maintain focus and performance in stressful environments, security, physical, mental, and emotional needs. For leaders, Paying attention to these needs within their teams is crucial in sustaining morale and efficiency. One memorable anecdote Blaber presents is the operation in the Shai Kot Valley in Afghanistan, known as the Battle of Anaconda. Through his narrative, he articulates the challenges of coordinating with numerous units and coalitions and the sometimes fatal consequences of miscommunication and poor planning. This scenario reinforces his point about maintaining situational awareness and adaptability in rapidly changing circumstances. Throughout the book, Blaber doesn't shy from discussing the failures and missteps he encountered, both personal and institutional. He provides a candid assessment of the consequences of bureaucratic inertia and the inability of various parties to adapt their mindsets to unconventional warfare. These lessons become potent reminders of the dangers of complacency and the importance of constantly questioning and reassessing strategies. Leadership is another core theme as Blaber delves into the qualities that make an effective leader in high-pressure, life-or-death situations. Integrity, humility, and the ability to accept responsibility are highlighted as essential attributes. He believes that a leader's commitment to these values fosters trust and confidence within a team, which is indispensable when facing adversity. Lastly, Blaber extends his military lessons to civilian applications, suggesting that the principles he embraced in Delta Force can be just as effective in the business world or personal endeavors. The book thus becomes a manual of sorts, 
for both military enthusiasts and those seeking guidance on leadership and personal development. In conclusion, The Mission, The Men, and Me is a detailed recount of Pete Blaber's experiences and learnings from his time in Delta Force. He provides an insightful look into the complex world of special operations, encapsulating the necessary adaptability, leadership, and decision-making skills that define successful missions and effective teams. The principles and stories shared by Blaber offer guidance that transcends military operations, making them applicable to various challenges and situations beyond the battlefield. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.